Georgia's Department of Labor has processed more than 4.3 million unemployment claims since the start of the pandemic. But every day we get emails and calls from people who are still waiting for their unemployment checks. Tonight we are pushing the Department of Labor for answers. 11 Alive's Natisha Lance shares the stories of two people struggling to survive. I just want the Georgia Department of Labor to get their stuff together. I really do. The struggle to get some people unemployment relief during the pandemic has been a challenge. Amber Hudgens was laid off in March. Her unemployment payments were coming in until last month when they suddenly stopped. Since she's been trying to get answers from the Georgia Department of Labor. The phone lines are always busy. You can never get on the phone with them. G Doll says it's looking into her case. We hear similar complaints from viewers nearly every day, frustrated, confused, and for some, on the brink of losing losing everything. I'm afraid of losing my car now because I've already lost my place of residence. So the only thing I do have is my car. We spoke with Jaquita Taylor over the phone because she didn't have a place to go with Wi-Fi. Some nights she says she's been forced to sleep in her car. She shovels her three kids ages three, six and eight between family and friends to keep them safe and in virtual school. I don't like the fact that I can't do for my children as I was doing before this COVID-19 started. Taylor's payment stopped last month too. Gidal tells us there was potential fraud on her account, which stopped her payments, but Taylor says she was never informed. Gidal acknowledges there are flaws in their system. Despite the complaints, the agency says it processes the fourth highest amount of unemployment claims nationwide, already paying out 18 billion in benefits since the pandemic began.